Oh gosh, I could puke. <laughs> I'm booking us flights. The, the biggest, longest flight we've ever booked. To where? What did I say? Okay, I'm doing it. Three, two, one. <gasps> Our first time leaving the country. <laughs> wow. This is it for me. This is it for me. It looks like a movie set. Welcome to Zurich, Switzerland. Now, if you've been following along, you know that in our latest video, we spoke about our newest mission, pursuing all of the experiences and adventures on our bucket list. We've been living and traveling throughout Mexico for the last six years or so, and this is crazy to believe we haven't really left Mexico. We bounced back and forth to Texas to visit our families, but that was about it. So for our very first bucket list adventure, we chose to take a trip outside of Mexico for the first time and well, here we are. Now for our very first trip outside of Mexico, we really wanted to travel somewhere where we didn't understand the language at all and we could sort of experience travel like we did visiting Mexico for the first time getting completely lost. And I can confidently say after about 80 hours of travel from Puerto Vallarta to here in Zurich, Switzerland, we definitely got lost and we definitely do not understand the language. Made it to Germany, baby. Oh my goodness. Wow. Nothing looks familiar. I feel very confused starting with the towels in the bathroom. an adventure well there's nothing that gets you acquainted to a new place like getting lost in the in the uh, train station no idea where we're at I am so confused so tired and so happy <laughs> I've seen so much red but first we need to find our train platform because I feel like we're like arriving to Hogwarts <laughs> What? I got a pretzel because that seemed like the German thing to get. Oh, oh it's got stuff on the inside. Oh yeah. Butter. I have a feeling we're gonna like this place. <laughs> body experience. I feel like I'm dreaming right now. Where are we and what is everyone saying to me? All right, so we took the first train was from Munich to <laughs> St. Marguerite. St. Marguerite. We were supposed to connect to one train then, but the first train was running a little late, so we had to get on a different train. We just followed everybody else I got off our train and people some people were asking us if that if the train we were getting on was going to Zurich. And we're like, listen, I don't know. I, I was following you. <laughs> and then we had to get off that train because we were again following other people that we heard overheard saying Zurich, but they could have possibly said, yeah, I'm definitely not going to Zurich. But we just heard Zurich. But we can't confirm we're on the right train now. I could have sworn I heard people speaking English and talking about which train to get on. So I followed them, and then I asked if they spoke English, and they said no. So, this is kind of fun. Whenever we woke up this morning, I wasn't quite sure whether I was still dreaming or not. That is how unreal it feels to be here in Zurich, Switzerland. We woke up feeling like excited, anxious, hopeful, <laughs> just like giddy. Everything. I don't know if you can see it on our faces, but we truly are giddy. Now this trip, we have so many bucket list adventures planned here in Switzerland, some in Austria, some in Germany. I don't wanna ruin all of the surprises yet, but really what we hope for this trip is, it's not only about the enormous bucket list adventures, but truly it's about the days in between those and today starting in Zurich. I have no doubt one thing is for sure, we are here to get lost. <laughs> First of all, it feels crazy to not know the language 
We're so used to traveling Mexico and being able to navigate and get around and ask questions and not really be lost. So we don't know the language, we don't have cell service because we were too cheap to pay for the extra yeah. AT&T data. So we are truly getting lost. Zurich, in a few words so far. Beautiful, wealthy, and perfect. I'm gonna go with um, Porsche, Lamborghini, BMW, Bentley, Bentley, Maserati. Maserati. Those are the words I would use to describe Switzerland. And then us. And then there's us. And then there's us. We're like the uh, Ford Fiat <laughs> of Switzerland. All right, the street we're on, I believe, is like the fanciest street with all of the fanciest stores and all of the fanciest country on earth, I think. There's Rolex, Burberry, Cartier. I'm probably saying all of these wrong. This is bon Bonhoff Street. And you're taking me shopping, right? <laughs> we, at, uh, we saw a falafel stand. That's probably the only <laughs> place we can get anything. We've actually seen quite a few Rolex stores before. I've never seen a line at a Rolex store. I'm thinking of just like hanging back there next to these people acting like I'm in line just to feel what it's like what to... What is it like to be in line there? <laughs> the only place we've ever spent in line is at Oxo. <laughs> the store keeping tabs here. Another Rolex store with another line. That's three Rolex stores in like two blocks, two with lines at them. This is beautiful Lake Zurich behind me. It's huge. A little windy out here, a little cold. One random thought we've had is everybody's dressed like it's like zero degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius, and really it's like 60. It feels the weather. The weather is pretty much perfect. I've not seen another human in shorts other than Greg, so we fit right in. You know, I don't think you have to go all the way to Europe to see swans, but we did. <laughs> but no, I was gonna say, these animals are much bigger than I thought. I mean, I'm sure I've seen a swan before, but those things are freaking huge. Now we really had no expectations for Zurich or really this trip as a whole in terms of, I don't know how things would be, but it is beautiful every direction we look. You know, we thought maybe, okay, you see a picture here or there and that must be like the spot. The postcard pick. The postcard pick and then the rest of the city is like, okay, but no, this every corner is just shockingly beautiful. Beautiful, B-E-A, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, this is it for me. This is it for me. It looks like a movie set, but I don't think, I don't think it is. There's just normal people walking around. I don't think it's a movie set, but it really looks like one. Never felt so <laughs> hopeless to order food. How are you feeling? He got it. We did it. We are so hungry. It's like three in the afternoon. We haven't ordered food, but by golly. We did, we did it. it. We're not going to starve after all. Obviously, it wasn't that hard, but it really is. And I say never felt that hopeless ordering food because even before we moved to Mexico or had traveled to Costa Rica, we learned some Spanish yeah. in high school. So we knew food words and like very basic things. But and now the count of you speaking Spanish to people is getting higher and higher. I feel like my. He asked if he wanted lettuce and he said, see. Sí. <laughs> yes, I'm just down to head nods <laughs> in Spanish. Gracias. <laughs> As we we're sitting here demolishing this, this falafel, which basically, by the way, is like a burrito. Oh yeah. I feel like I'm probably gonna relate everything to Mexican food <laughs> for the for next a while. Time. I was hit with the realization that one of the experiences on the bucket list is to try different foods, street foods, all over the world. I will admit, I really didn't think of street food when I thought of Zurich. I never expected to have street food in Zurich, and I never expected the street food in Zurich to be falafel. But this seems to be the the predominant street food of choice. Street food of choice. And I feel like that's the whole point here, right? We have these experiences on our bucket list and we never know, we don't really know where they're gonna take us. Yeah. But here we are, here we are. with falafel 
in our hands, a crying baby in the background, and a lot of... A little extra on our, <laughs> on our faces. A little sauce on our faces. We're we happier can, than that guy. <laughs> we cannot be happier. We really are walking around every corner just going, wow. Wow, that's Whoa. pretty. What? Whoa, come on. <laughs> that's, that's our true off-camera reactions. It's... I cannot believe we're here. Okay, there. It feels like a movie set, and all of these people are paid actors except for us. <laughs> <laughs> and we just showed up not knowing they're filming today. <laughs> I've never really seen a movie that looks like that or like this. It just. It feels like so unfamiliar, so very foreign. I've never seen buildings like this, streets like this, restaurants like this, people like this. <laughs> Everything feels so foreign it feels like an out-of-body experience now since we're backups in a movie <laughs> we should prepare our walks let's see it <laughs> we've been trying to find this park for like 20 minutes no not 20 minutes <laughs> it's like three hours <laughs> we've been trying to find this park all day long. It was like our only objective was to get to this park. It's taking us a while. We saw a sign for chocolate <laughs> making a detour. <laughs> but actually now that we're by the chocolate sign, we're realizing that I think it's just like an advertisement and not not saying that the chocolate store is here. A little bit of a letdown. Come on, Switzerland. Found it. Forget the park. Chocolate. <laughs> Staircase here below us. It's chocolate. Flowing chocolate. That's some Willy Wonka stuff right there. That is next level. What? There's a whole wall of chocolate. Oh my gosh. We found chocolate. Ah. I'm pretty sure you can find lint at Lind Linden. I'm pretty sure. You I think you can find this brand of chocolate like everywhere, yeah. right? Yeah, but it's from Switzerland. But it's from here. They give us a free chocolate bunny that was made today. Let's try that one. Let's yeah, it that. says production date. Today's date. Consume before a month from now. So they really want you to consume that quickly. We will. I'm usually, chocolate bunnies are usually like, I love chocolate, pretty low on my list. And of, I love bunnies. So let's see. Actually, I used to have a pet rabbit, but it bit me, so he gave it away. Hey, rest in peace, rascal. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Oh, just smell it. it smells chocolatey. Does it smell like a bunny? That was really good. You're right, chocolate bunnies. That is good. How would the you words. describe it? Yeah, I don't have the words to describe the quality of the chocolate. It just tastes. All right, all right, all right. It's probably leftover chocolate that they give the tourists and stamp a, a date on. Today. I'm loving it. I will admit that eating Swiss chocolate in Switzerland was, in fact, not on the bucket list. But now that we've done it, it feels like it should have been. We gotta mark it off. We need to <laughs> add it and then mark it off. Exactly. <laughs> Found the park alert. We have found the park Lindenhof. Wow. The views, the views from like the ground level, pretty incredible. But up here, the bird's eye view from the park. <laughs> I feel like this is like a green screen and that nothing here is real. It is that picturesque. Eating out in Switzerland is unsurprisingly very expensive. When I mean very, I mean like we found a cheap place and it was like 30 francs, which is basically like $30. And I found uh, Mexican fajitas for $25. But tasty chicken Asian style soup is only two francs. There we go, baby. So we're trying to find a few things to stock up on at the house to have a minimum of snacks or like tonight as dinner. It might be soup in the cup, might be rice, might be spaghetti. Cubes. Not recommended. We got some prepared soup stuff, kind of like soup in a cup, except a little bigger. We got some bread, pasta, pasta sauce, 
a sparkling water. 16 francs, 18 bucks. How about that? Our strategy with the strip is just to watch the interactions of people around us and just copy them. For instance, in line, the cashier asked the lady in front, the lady if she, some question, I don't know. He asked some question, I have no idea. She said nine, she said no. So of course, when he asked me a question, I just said nine. He could have said, sir, would you like a thousand dollars? Nine. I don't know what he asked, but that's what the lady said and I was just copying All her. One suit. I think there's some sort of spirit some sort of magical feeling we get and you get and everyone gets when you see a place for the first time, when you hear new languages for the first time, and that is really what today felt like. Now it's interesting because when Greg and I first moved to Mexico for about three or four months, we did not document our experience there. So all of the first time, our first impressions, our first time trying to interact in Spanish, none of that was documented. So today feels like a true new beginning for us. We hope that you had a great time exploring Zurich. We are still totally lost, still don't know where we at, where we at, <laughs> still don't know where we English is either. We don't understand a word. It was a complete blast and we cannot wait to wake up tomorrow.